Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. This is a neat little exercise. I've got a quarter inch ellipse inside of a 12 inch ellipse, but I want that quarter of an inch lip right on the top center and in the middle of the line. So I'm gonna select them both. I'm gonna hit the letter T like Tom. And what that did, it put it right at the top. But I want it at the top of the middle of that line. So if I set my nudge factor on half the quarter of an inch, is 0.125. When I nudge that up and hit P, I hit P. I just need to nudge it up. Then we need 38 of these, and I put the center rotation in the circle. This is really cool if you have an onboard calculator on your uh, computer. We're going to go to Transform or Transformation Docker, and we are going to put a zero there for right now. And I am going to take my onboard calculator, and I'm going to go 360 divided by 38 is 9.47, and we can extend that all the way out. I'm just right-clicking and copying it. I'm going to zero that out, and I'm going to right-click and paste that in there to that exact number. And Corel will do that, even though it says only 9.74. It is all the way out there. So now you have 38 circles exactly spaced apart around that. And you can do that with any number of circles or anything. You know, if you wanted to make it a bump, you could take the, you know, bump out like that, like a little gear type deal. But if you use your onboard calculator, you have to write thing down, you can cut and paste that into there. And the reason I had 37 when I wanted one at 38, because we already had one. So the one plus the 37 make 38. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.